The main thing today is I do not want to get as riled up as I did the last time I talked about people that annoy me. That's my main aim. I don't know how that's gonna go, but we'll see. I used to work in retail. I worked in retail for years. I worked for a couple of different brands um, and retail is hard work and stressful at the best of times. But Christmas time, it's another level. And there were so many things that like, I would have like, I still to this day play in my mind back what I would have said to a customer had I been allowed and not got fired on the spot. I kind of wanted to make this video because it's the last weekend before Christmas. I know a lot of you watching this video probably haven't completed your Christmas shopping. I am one of them. Just remember to not be an asshole when you're in the shops this weekend. I'm going to speak my mind today and say all the things that every sales assistant across the country and indeed the world wishes they could say this Christmas. I have a list. One of the things that always used to annoy me and especially when I worked and I was selling handbags was when people would like pick something up and be like, is this going into the sale? Like the day after Christmas, we call it Stephen's Day in Ireland. And like, I'm sorry, I can't tell you that, firstly. Firstly, half the time I didn't know um, because the managers started to keep like the lists of things um, hidden so you wouldn't know half the time. And secondly, I cannot tell you that. Like, are you trying to get me fired? I cannot tell you if something's on sale, Karen. You're either gonna buy it now or just wait till the sale. Thing is, and this goes certainly for handbags. If it is a classic style, so something that they have all the time, and it is in black or tan, chances are it's not going on sale. Like, there is a very, 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 very low probability of that going on sale. So don't come over to me with a mulberry bag in a classic style, in tan, and ask me is it going on sale, because it's not. Not today, not ever. Generally, it's only gonna go on sale if it's like, you know, in a really unusual color or print or pattern or different style. If it's a classic style and shape, don't, don't bother asking. What you can look out for are a sticker on the uh, price tag or indeed even a marking. That'll give you an indication, but don't ask a sales assistant because if a manager ever hears them saying, yeah, that's gonna go on sale, they're gonna get a serious talking to. Down beside the stock room, beside the smelly little kitchen, it that's what's gonna happen to them. But don't ask if stuff is going into sale because the chances are we don't know and the even higher chances we're not gonna tell you. You're just gonna have to roll that dice, play a little roulette and see what happens. Okay, customers are messy at the best of times. I can do it myself sometimes accidentally. Um, you know, if you're like looking for something and of course your size is like at the very bottom and you're like, oh, crap. But wow, customers are extra destructive at Christmas. I used to work in a company that, I won't name the brand, but basically they sold a lot of sweatshirts and these sweatshirts were sold or were folded in a very specific way and we used to have towers of these sweatshirts and people would just grab one from the middle at the bottom and let it all just tumble down. Blatant disregard for my mental health, frankly. People are just so messy. They'll leave like their coffee cups around the place. I've seen people like take off their socks and try and shoes and then the old socks are left there and you're like, stop it, people. We are the people who are staying late to help clean up all that crap. And as it is, we're probably already working super late hours. So for example, whereas our closing time would have normally been 9 p.m., the run up to Christmas is 11 p.m., which also means that you're in probably until midnight cleaning the damn place up. Go easy. There is no need to throw things around. If you need help, ask someone. Or just try and do it as neatly as possible. This one used to drive me crazy because you're already working like eight hours a day, okay? So you're on your feet that entire time, which I actually find very, very difficult. Um, my knees will get really sore in my hips, but like there's no other option. You just have to stand all day. It is what it is. But on top of that, at Christmas, you're running around an awful lot, like an awful lot. You're literally, you're clocking up your 10,000 steps in like no time. I was working in an accessories department and people would be getting each other downstairs and check the stock room for a bag and then you come back up and they'd have another bag in their hand and they'd be like, oh, can you check this one? Having just got 
the bag and then you run back down and then you come back up and they'd be like oh suddenly I want the matching purse and then you run back down and then you come back up and they'd be like you don't actually want the matching purse but I kind of like the look of that scarf over there <sighs> have a look around the area pick out the things you like and then get me to go to the stock room one time and one time only it's so much easier don't have me running up and down like a yo-yo because a, that's wasting my time, and B, it's pissing off all the other customers around me who also want stuff. There have been Christmases where I have literally just gotten bags and like strung them onto my arm, nine or ten of them, and gone down like this, just holding bags attached to my arms and purses, and run down to the stock room and been like, I need new ones of all of these. You know, it's probably the only time in your life that you're going to wish you were an octopus. Probably. But yeah, don't get us running up and down to the stock room a million and one times. It's not cool. And also, if we say something isn't in stock, believe us. We've all seen those memes on like Twitter where it's like what the customer thinks the back is and then what the back actually is and they are so true. So true. They think it's this never-ending treasure trove of stuff when in reality it's a really, really small room with a lot of frazzled people nearly fighting over stuff to bring to a customer. So believe us when we say something is not in the back. We don't have it in stock. Why would we lie? This is in line with like the customers who are extra messy. This is the same kind of thing. So this is the customers that let their children run riot. Riot in the store. First of all, it's dangerous. I've actually seen little kids knock over elderly people, which is not cool because obviously there's a lot of stuff around, a lot of people around. It's very stressful as it is. Just it's, it's not cool. I understand and I will not judge a parent if their child has a temper tantrum. I would never judge a parent for that, let's be honest. Kids choose the shittiest times to have temper tantrums. That's not your fault, that's fine. What is your fault is when you let your kid run loose throughout the shop, knocking things over, knocking into people, hiding under coat rails, and then all of a sudden you're like, I can't find my kid. Then I'm gonna judge you. Keep your kid beside you or strapped into something, or preferably at home. You come in, do your shopping, I guarantee you it'll be at least twice as fast, and everyone wins. Or try and avail of a crash that's in a shopping center, or ask someone else to come with you, anything to just make sure that your kid isn't running around the shop and causing literal destruction, or worse, hurting somebody. So just, you know, we got enough going on. We're trying to deal with customers. We're trying to give good service. We're trying to keep an eye out for pickpocketers. We do not need your kids in the mix, okay? There's the customers who complain about cues, which has always baffled me. There's complaining about cues when there are tills that aren't in use, as in like they don't have a salesperson behind the till. That's annoying, I can admit that. But when all the tills are full and people are working flat out, trying to complete sales, gift wrap, all that kind of stuff, don't complain. Because frankly, if you're in the queue, you're part of the problem. How do you not get that? So unless there are empty tills, you should not be complaining about the queues because everyone's in the same boat everyone's left their shit last minute and you are one of those people as well you're in the queue so don't complain about oh the queues are so long oh i'm so tired oh my arms are about to fall off holding gifts it's just it is what it is so hopefully the store is passing out sweets have, have a sweet chill out and then don't take it out on the till assistant when you get to the top because there's no need for that they're going as fast as they can i can assure you of that much Mistakes happen, accidents, accidents happen, all that kind of stuff, but please don't take it out of them. They've got enough on their plate, frankly. Also, on tills, there are customers who literally, as you're handing them their, their receipt and you've completed the transaction, will then go, oh, actually, can I have a gift receipt? No. No, you can't. You should have told me that when you got to the till. I can't, I can't magic one out of the air. It's part of your transaction. The transaction is over. Where do you think I'm gonna find this gift receipt? In a magical gift receipt drawer that we have? No. Ask for your gift receipt when you get to the till. Not after. It will make life 
so much easier for everyone. In my experience, I have found it is mostly men that do this, but it can be anyone. But there are people who will come in on Christmas Eve. I will give the example of a guy who came in looking for something for his girlfriend on Christmas Eve and we were literally closing in an hour. And when I was trying to be helpful, again, I was working in the accessories handbag department. So I was trying to be helpful and asking, well, what does she like? Do, do you have an example of any bag that she has or anything that I can kind of go off? No, I don't know what she likes. Firstly, why are you together? But secondly, don't come into us with no examples or no idea of what you want, expecting us to pick out the perfect gift for your girlfriend when you've given us no clues. I'm not a mind reader, I'm a sales assistant. So help me out here, pal. And the thing is, if you don't know, and I've had a manager up my ass all day, I'm just gonna suggest the most expensive thing and the matching purse. So just being honest, manages up my ass I'm gonna have to make a sale for everyone's sake okay come in with something or even a really good thing to do is to like take a photo of the bag that they use all the time or they say that they love or have an idea of like what kind of clothes they wear or what clothes they like and then at least we have something to go on something anything anything it's unfortunately a year-round thing but at Christmas people get especially mean like off the charts nasty to sales assistants and here's the thing like we're literally it's just our job a lot of people it's a part-time job or people are doing it to supplement a you know an income or whatever it is there is no need for you to get all like this at me because i don't have something in stock for you okay so just put that finger away and chill out and just know if you're mean to somebody on the floor, everybody else, all the other sales assistants are looking at you with daggers and will probably not want to help you. And two, we're going to bitch about you in the stock room, in the kitchen, on Twitter. You being an asshole is unnecessary, so stop it. And don't forget to thank your sales assistant, even if it's just a simple thanks for grabbing that from the stock room or oh thanks for having a look or Thanks for my bag and my receipt and my gift receipt, as we learned. Just say thank you. Please is also a good one. Just a little note. Side, sidebar. We've talked about customers. We know they can be awful. And I'd like to point out some customers are absolutely amazing. I find a lot of them are ex-retail themselves and they'll say it to you and they'll be like, you're doing great. But side note from all the crappy customers that we have to deal with at Christmas. Managers. We're working our butts off. We're doing our best. We can't make customers buy things. It's all down to them. We're just there to facilitate the transactions and hopefully everyone will get what they want. But one, if you're not making the sales that you really need to be making, it is up to you as a manager to internalize that and not take it out on your staff. And two, if you are making a lot of money and things are selling out crazy fast and things are going so well and you're smashing all the targets that head office have put out for you, try to hide the money signs in your eyes and just make sure that your staff are okay. Look after your staff this Christmas. It is a really, really tough time of year to be in retail and indeed the service industry, restaurants, bars, all that kind of stuff. Everyone just look out for each other and be nice. I feel like I'm at the end of Ellen DeGeneres' show and she's like, be nice to each other. But seriously, it's not a bad omen to take it to the shops this Christmas. Okay, I'm gonna end this video because I am getting a little irritated now and plus the light is trash. So, if you are a customer this Christmas, please just be nice. If you are a manager this Christmas, please be nice and look out for your staff. And if you are somebody who works in the retail industry or the service industry or whatever it may be, my heart goes out to you. Honestly, I will be thinking of you this Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give a thumbs up and you can subscribe down below. And also, if you have any retail horror stories around Christmas, pop them into the comments down below because I kind of like getting irritated reading these things. So, 
do your girl a favor. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful, peaceful, happy, healthy Christmas with your friends, families, loved ones, whoever that may be. And I will see you guys in the next video. Merry Christmas.